Hey guys, time for another EXO update. First off, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers who came over to the channel from my recent collaboration with Everything Apple Pro. I hope you like the content. On today's update, we're going to be building the EXO legs, or starting the EXO legs, because I've got a bit of a time constraint. You see, a few weeks ago, a German TV show called Galileo actually emailed me and asked if I wanted to do an interview with them. I said yes, and that interview is actually this Sunday, which means I only have about five days to finish the EXO legs. Why? Because I may have promised them a test. A big test. We're going to tip the Mini Cooper onto two wheels using the EXO legs, and it's going to be quite the interesting challenge, not to mention finishing it in time. So let's get started. the next adapter piece onto one of the legs. So we've got our two uh, lower legs made now, and these just clip right in to the ankle joint like so. Now the next thing we need to figure out is uh, we have to limit the range of motion of the ankle because the ankle isn't locking. So as you can see there's a limit here that hits, but we don't want to actually force that because we might damage the joint. So we're playing around with a few different ideas. We thought of kind of adding like a kickstand that would come out to the front and kind of brace yeah, the leg like that. But then we thought, we, we can do something a bit better than that. So we have these gas cylinders. These are basically the same things that are used to open like the car trunk. Um, and these ones are actually really strong. This one's 1200 newtons. So that's approximately 120 kilograms or close to 300 pounds. Like I can't even close this whatsoever. But if we mount it like this, basically what will happen is you'll hit kind of like a soft stop and then if you have a heavy load it will compress more but it'll also give you a bit of a spring back once you try and stand up again so I think this will be really important in being able to get back up again after picking up a heavy weight so what we're going to do is we've actually we've taken one of the piece of box tube that's slightly larger and it fits over top of this tube so then what we're going to do is we're going to make a welded gusset on here to mount this like so. And to do that, I'm going to use some of this quarter inch thick cold rolled steel. And basically we're just going to weld that on there, drill a hole through, and put in a um, rather beefy cotter pin. So let's try building it. So I've clamped the two pieces of steel using a bolt and now I'm going to weld it onto our piece which will fit onto the leg brace.
so we have our attachment bracket now. So that just slides onto the lower shin piece of the exoskeleton, which then clips into the ankle. And now we can play around with different heights for this. The base of the idea will be when you lean forwards, this will actually engage. We need to make a little foot for this. And then you'll have another two inches of um, stroke in the gas cylinder that will resist the load. And that'll be nice because it'll kind of give you a spring back when you're trying to stand back up because it'll push off. So now we just have to see which height we want to put this at, and then we'll weld it in place. All right, so we fabricated another one of these shin mounting brackets for the ankle support. And now we're just going to have to uh, grind off the edge, because right now you've only got limited flexibility. It stops there. So we're going to take that edge off, and then you'll be able to go all the way down like this and all the way up like that. And then we might even have it so um, when you don't need the support, you can actually clip it up so it's not getting in your way. So let's go and do that now. Alright, so we ground off the edges of this, which gives us more flexibility as you can see. So now the cylinder can go all the way up or all the way down. So if we slide that on here, that means you can potentially have a resting position to lock up here and then when you want to use the brace you can just swing it down and then it'll lock into the foot piece which we haven't made yet. So unfortunately that's all for today's update. I've um, been working in the shop for the past probably 12 hours now. Not just in this, some other stuff as well. Um, but we'll be having quite a few more updates this week as we get ready for Sunday's big um, TV spot. So thanks for watching. Not bad. As you can see, took out the piece of wood pretty good. <laughs>